Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a free CAD tutorial. Now I haven't made a video like this in a very long time so I'm going to ease myself back into it gently with this fairly simple design touching on a few basic tools which hopefully you'll be able to take into different design scenarios as we progress to future videos. So let's take a look and see how I created the part on screen. Now I'm currently using version 0.18.4 so what I would suggest is that you go and update if you're using an earlier version just so that we're all on the same page. Now what I'm going to do is create a brand new document and I'm going to set my documents view to isometric and I'm going to create a new sketch and click on the XY plane and click OK. So now I'm going to press R on the keyboard and create myself a rough square. Press escape, shift H for the horizontal measurement I'm going to type in 35. I'm then going to press Shift V. That's going to give me the vertical measurement, but that's 35 as well. Now I want to make sure that this is central to that central point because when we go to do the holes later on, I want it to rotate around the center point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Shift H again for the horizontal. Click on the top point up here and on the center point. I'm going to set that 17.5. So that's half of 35. I'm going to say Shift V, which is going to be the vertical measurement. I'm going to click on this bottom point, center point again, and again 17.5, which gives us that measurement there. Now, what I'm going to want to do is create a circle in the center of this drawing. So I'm going to click on Circle on the Circle Design up here. I'm going to click on the center, and I'm just going to bring it out slightly. It doesn't matter on size at the moment. I'm going to click on the dimension up here, which is a diameter dimension which if it's on a constrained radius, then you want to just have constrained diameter. So I'm going to click on the, it's the circle itself. I'm going to set that to 28, which is 28 diameter or 14 radius, if you're using the radius. And I'm going to escape from that. And then I'm going to escape from the drawing altogether, which will bring me back to this view here. Now, if you're seeing it from this point of view, you can easily set it again to isometric, and it will be just like mine. So now what I want to do is I want to extrude this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these lines here. I'm going to click on pad, which then bring it up. I'm going to type in 14 mil, because that's our 14 mil extrusion. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I want to do is create a draft on this face here. So I'm going to click on the face until it turns green. And I'm going to click on draft, which I'm then going to type in 21.8. I'm going to select neutral plane here, which will then revert it back slightly, but it's OK for now. I'm going to click on this face here on the left hand side, which will then create my draft, which is going up in this direction. So now I'm going to click OK to that. And there we have it. We've created our draft on our 35 by 35 with a 28 mil hole going through the center. So now what I'll do is just create the four, four millimeter holes, which will revolve around the center of our part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the part by clicking in the middle mouse button and then right clicking and holding and then rotating the part around. Now what I want to do is just click on this face here and then click on create sketch which will then bring it to this view here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and click on the circle design up here and I'm just going to click and drag and leave it like so. Press escape and then click on the diameter measurement here and then click on the circle. I'm going to set this to 4 mil like so and hit enter. I'm now going to press Shift H, click on the center, click on the center of the circle. I'm going to set that to 12.73 millimeters and click OK. I'm going to say Shift V, click on the center again, click on the center of the circle again. I'm going to set that again to 12.73 and hit OK. So now, as we can see, the circle is fully constrained and we can hit Escape and Escape again, which will get us back to where we want to be. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude the circle through our part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, the icon up here, which is then start at the extrusion already. And then we're going to click on up here where it says type, set it to through all, which will then set it through the entire of our part. And we're going to say OK to that. So now what I want to do is just take our 4mm through hole and create a circular pattern around our part. So how to do that is to go onto the polar icon up here, click on pocket, which is going to highlight the entire object. I'm going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is, is change the occurrences to 4, make sure the angle is set to 360, 
and set normal to sketch axis. Now if it's not showing up correctly for some reason, let's say it's set like this and you've got some random, you know, some random spawn of evil going on, what I would suggest doing is set the it to base z axis, which will then set it in the z axis so the holes are always going in the same direction. Okay, but for now, normal sketch axis should be absolutely fine, there should be no problems with that at all, and we're going to click OK. So now what I'm going to do is create the fillet which goes around the outside of our part. So I'm going to click on this line here, click on fillet, and then I'm going to say add reference, which means I'm going to add the other additional fillets which are around the actual part, like so. I'm going to set the radius to 5mm. What that does is just gives it a nice little rounded corner which makes it look very good. I'm going to click OK. So now what I'm going to do is add a small 0.2 chamfer just around the outside as if it were to be to bird, just to give it a better, better look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this center circle line here, click on chamfer, I'm going to change it to 0.2, and then what I'm going to do is add reference again. I'm just going to click individually around the outside of these four four millimeter holes, and then for the outside, the chain will select itself. So as you can see, the shaft will go the whole around the outside. And we also want to do the underside as well. So we're going to add a reference to all of these as well. And then once that's all done, make sure it's set to 0 0.2 as we've already done. Click OK. And there we have it, a finished part, a 35 by 35 millimeter block with a 21.8 degree draft going across the top and a 28 mil hole through the center with four, four millimeter holes around the outside in a circular pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you also have any tips and tricks on how I can improve the quality of my videos, then that'll be absolutely fantastic and I'll take everything into account. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.